Hi there. How are you? Welcome to another vlog. Man, the bottoms of my hair are getting so light again. Holy heck. Anyways, how we all doing? What is up? So happy you're back to hang out. I hope you have a good day. Today is Saturday, and I did a couple little fun things this morning with the boy that I'm seeing, who I have not introduced yet, and I don't know if I will be, but yeah. We had a little date night last night, went out to supper, and then drank some wine at his house. And I slept over, and then this morning we got up, went for a drive, got some Starbucks, and we went to go see some seals and other underwater aquatic creatures. So, cue some footage of that. <laughs> The seals killed me. I literally cried because they were just so cute. I, it was too much for me to handle. But that happens to me. If I see like sweet little old people or like babies, really cute animals, waterworks. Sorry for Sailor, she's insane. Since I've been gone all night, she's really craving some attention and just cries until I give her every little bit of attention I have. Yes, that's you, isn't it? It's a good thing that you're as cute as you are. Try me, bitch. She's so cute. It kills me. Anyways, today I'm not doing a whole lot because I am quite hungover. It's gotten a little bit better as the days progressed, but definitely still, yeah, an icky feeling that I am experiencing. So I'm not going to be doing a whole lot else today. I think I'm going to go over to my brother's and help him organize some stuff in his basement. I don't know if I mentioned, but I've been helping him kind of like get his house situated. Very long story that I won't get into the details of, but yeah, his house is just kind of out of sorts for a lot of reasons, most of which are not his fault. And he's very, very busy. I am not quite as busy. So I'm kind of pitching in a little bit and um, helping him kind of organize his house, get it situated, make it feel like a home again. And we're going to do some of it together because it'll go by my much quicker and we both don't have plans on this fine Saturday so yeah. so I might be doing a bit of that later on for right now though I am going to lie on the couch and I'm going to eat some snacks I just picked up some Timmy's oh, and I'm gonna smoke some weed and that's gonna be the majority of my day Anyways, I'm going to go catch up on some YouTube and keep catching up as well on Stranger Things. I wanted to rewatch all of the seasons before the new season came out. I just didn't realize how soon it was coming out and now it's out and I'm trying to avoid spoilers like all over the place because I don't, <laughs> I don't want it to be spoiled. All I know is that there's some iconic song and everyone's obsessed with it and whatever. So I'm just trying to avoid that song and I know it's a thing. That's the only thing that's actually kind of been like spoiled, but I don't know what the song is. I refuse to listen. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling blah. I'm going to go change out of this attire. I'm gonna do that, but I'll see you in a bit. Hello again, it is me and it is Sunday. Yesterday, even though I had planned to like do a couple of things with my night, nothing crazy exciting, but I still plan to do a couple of things. After I smoked that weed I talked about, I literally passed out. I fell asleep and I did not wake up until 5 a.m. this morning. <laughs> I'm glad I did though, because me and the boy had plans to go for a walk at Salmon or Nature Park. That's like a little um, nature reserve here. He was gonna pick me up by 10, so I'm glad I woke up at five. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to set an alarm and I would have missed the whole day. I actually have no idea how I managed to do that, but regardless, we're going to Salmon here. It's gonna be a cute little road trip and then a cute little walk to see a bunch of fun little animals. So I'm gonna take some footage. Let's 
do it. I'm in the boy's car at the moment. He is inside somewhere getting money because we stopped at a garage sale on the way and there's a couple things that he liked. So I thought I would take this opportunity to update you on the day. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I've been vlogging. Anyways, let's go to Sam and your nature park. Tuesday. I feel like this vlog has been all over the place. I guess where I've been doing more like weekend vlogs lately, filming on a Tuesday feels super strange, but hello again. Yesterday was kind of a blah day, so I didn't really film anything for you. However, we are about to go do a workout. I'm at the gym, if you can see over here. We are about to go do a workout. It is a push day. I'm really hoping that I get the 35s up on the bench press because it doesn't always happen. It does most times, but I do bottom out sometimes. And I don't know, I just don't feel super like, ugh, you know, I don't feel super strong today. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to get it up or not, but fingers crossed, pray for me, send me the good vibes that I can do this. Having one of these guys, this color looks beautiful in the light right now, but I literally never get lemon flavored anything, but I was in the mood for something different today. So here we are. So sorry if you can hear my car, by the way. It is randomly pretty nice and sunny out today. I don't know if you can tell, but well, maybe this will help you tell. Ha ha ha, blue skies. I am a warm lady. And if I don't have my car and therefore air conditioning on, I will be a sweaty bitch in a matter of minutes, maybe even seconds that I would save you the pain of watching me sit here and sweat while merely talking. Ooh, I just realized I could do a little shopper's haul because I just went to shoppers before I came here. It's really not very exciting. I only got like a handful of things, but. Raisins. 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 Continuing on the, the hair path, some Nair. Not too long ago, one of my vlogs, I was using those like little face razor things, but I find because it's like a razor similar to like your leg hair and stuff, when it grows back, sometimes it can almost be like stubbly and I'm not used to having like, like I don't have super coarse hair or anything around my lip, but I don't know. 
I don't know. So I just thought that I would try some Nair and see if I like that better. I picked up some earrings randomly because I thought they looked cute and I'm a sucker for like a full hoop like that, like a hoop that goes all the way around because I find I can sleep with them and it doesn't bother me at all. Oh, there's a boy watching me do this, sweet. I also got two makeup items. I got this NYX HD, what is it? HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I usually get the Maybelline Under Eye Brightening, that twisty guy, I usually get that, but there's none left in a light enough shade for like under my eyes and stuff, so I Googled good drugstore concealers and this was one of the ones that came up, so I'm gonna give this a try. And because you have been watching, you will know that my foundation is also a wax shade in comparison to my face, so, I thought I would try this guy. This is new. It's a Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So it's kind of like a foundation, but it's not quite. And it has some, um, it's infused with certain things that helps like moisturize your skin, which I have really dry skin. So I don't know. I thought this might be like a nice, not as thick version. Like, like I had said, when I'm doing my makeup, I kind of like having it a bit more natural, just like evening my face tone, but still showing through like my skin. And I feel like this might, this might help with that. So yeah. That is what I got at Shoppers. One second, I'm gonna get a thumbnail here. Thumbnail. I'm really bad at getting thumbnails. I always just take like screen captures from parts of the video, but I'm trying to be better. <laughs> I'm trying to be better at all of the things. Anyways, I'm gonna have a few more sips of this and then we are going to go work out. <sighs> Woo! I'm trying to hype myself up because as I said, I'm not feeling very strong. I do really like this flavor though, I gotta say. It kind of tastes like Smirnoff Ice. <laughs> so it's a little bit like making me feel like I'm a young kid again. Feeling like I'm of age drinking Smirnoff Ice. That's how I feel drinking this. Not like I'm a 15 year old passed out in a field. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Let's go lift some weights. Starting out with one of my absolute favorites, the good old bench press. I seriously have grown to love this thing so freaking much. I'll warm up with just the bar, do about 10 to 15 reps, add on a moderate weight, so I'll do again another 10 to 15 reps. Then I will just slowly start adding weight on, doing as many reps as I possibly can until I reach my max, which is what I'm attempting to lift here. As you can see, I didn't quite get it up, so instead I lifted my next heaviest weight, which is 110 pounds, five less than the 115, and gave it another go. Just don't give up, guys. Next up, we're doing an incline bench press. I follow the exact same routine as the regular bench press. Start with just the bar, add a little bit of weight on to do another warm up set, then just keep putting on those plates until I reach the heaviest I can lift, doing as many reps as I possibly can all the way through. Because I'm trying to grow my muscles and increase strength, I like to train with AMRAP technique, which means as many reps as possible instead of setting rep counts, as you're constantly pushing your muscles to do the very most that they can. Moving into some assisted dips, another killer for the chest and triceps. The main thing you want to focus on here is keeping your elbows in close to your body. You don't want to have them flaring out. I still follow AMRAP here, but instead of adding weight on, I will just decrease the weight that is assisting me. Now to isolate those beautiful triceps of ours, I am doing some tricep pushdowns using the tricep pushdown machine. While free weights can be fantastic, I find this machine is a godsend. It's so good for isolating the triceps, so definitely recommend this one if you have stubborn triceps. Alrighty, this is the last weightlifting type exercise that we're gonna do today, and it's actually going to be a superset. We are starting off with a chest fly on the fly machine, moving into an overhead tricep extension. I am so sorry that you can't actually see me doing it, but just keep your core nice and braced and don't have those elbows moving. Finally, we are ending off this workout with some good old fashioned push-ups. I can literally only do one from my feet, at least after this workout I could only do one, and so I moved to my knees. There is no shame in this, it's actually better if you can do it from your knees with proper form than from your feet with improper form. So never be embarrassed, do what you can. This is totally optional, but for some cardio at the end, I did do a 15 minute incline walk. 
but that is the whole workout. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Whew. That was a fantastic workout. Wow. Sorry, you can probably hear my air conditioning, but I especially need the air conditioning now because holy hell, I am a, a sweaty bitch. I didn't get the 35s up, but still great and I still felt accomplished and I knew going in there that I was going to be a little weaker and I still got 110 up instead of 115 so still a win in my books anyways I think I'm gonna end this vlog here but I just want to say thank you thanks for coming along thanks for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed it had an entertaining fun maybe even a little helpful at points I don't know just happy that you're here before I go, I do just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, that button is down below. It should be white, not red. If it's red, that means you haven't stopped yet, and it's kind of time to do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Just, just, just do it. Just do it! And then I won't have to say it anymore, okay? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks again for coming. I hope you have a great rest of your day, week, month, year life. I hope everything is fantastic with you because you deserve to be happy. All right, that's it for me. Bye friends.